In this video, I'm going to show you how to take those point clouds that we generated from CT scans or MRIs. Whether you followed along with the skull point cloud video or the brain point cloud video, um, and how you can view those in Blender. Um, previously, you would have to, in older versions of Blender, like 3.5 or so, you would have to use an add-on, um, like import PLY as verts, but now you don't have to do that. So I'll show you how you can um, view those point clouds in Blender. So to get started, I have Blender 4.2.2 open, so that's the uh, newest, um, I believe, that I just downloaded. So I, I haven't had a chance to explore it too much because I was still using 4.1, um, but we'll, um, but, but I did download it to test this and it works really well. So uh, first we're gonna go, I'm gonna use the brain point cloud since that's the most recent uh, point cloud video that I uploaded. So we're just gonna go file, import, PLY, and <clears throat> we're gonna bring in that point cloud. And we probably have to scroll to zoom out a little bit, see where it is. I'm going to go over here to the right um, under scene and change the units to millimeters and scale down <clears throat> and we can open this up right here and see that our brain is now at um, normal normal brain size um, and then I'm going to go object set origin to geometry and then object snap to cursor and it's still like it's kind of rotated so I'm just going to um, do an RX, view it from the front, do an RZ to get it to face forward, R1, okay, something like that, it's kind of facing forward, and so you can see that we have points, and, um, but no color. If we look under our um, object data over here on the right and click on color attributes, you can see that we do have vertex color. So the data is there, we just can't see it. Uh, let's click on the material view up here at the top of our 3D viewer and we still don't see anything, okay? So I'm gonna drag this timeline up and I'm going to change this to Shader Editor <clears throat> and I'm going to add a new material and I'm going to go Shift A, Input, Color Attribute and grab the color and put it under Base Color. We do need to click on this empty box here and specify the color. You can see that it's already there because it, it is available uh, within the model. But we still don't see anything, right? Even in material view, it's just it's just plain points. So we need to do one more thing. Now I'm going to go and open uh, the geometry node editor and click new and scroll out if you need to find where that went. There it goes. Shift A. We're going to go under mesh, operations, mesh to points. Okay, so now something happened. We have some different little points, but we're still not seeing the color. So we just need to apply the material that we created to, uh, to these points. So we're gonna go Shift A again, Material, Set Material, and we just have to select that material that we created, the material.001, um, and let's see how it looks. Ooh, there's color. And let's see, the radius is pretty small since we scaled this to um, actual size, maybe like a half millimeter radius would look good. Okay, that looks pretty good. And this is, I'm gonna go back over here and, um, oops. So this is an Eevee um, that we're able to see this. And this is just in material view. In the previous version, in 4.1, um, I'm pretty sure you could not see this in Eevee. In cycles, yes, um, 
but not in EV. So we can switch to cycles as well, change this to GPU, and I'm going to switch my samples all down to, to 10. And let's get our um, camera. Let's see where our camera is looking. Ooh, it's too far in. So I'm going to go over here to the right and click on view, camera to view, and I'm going to like zoom out. Oh yeah, there's the brain. And I'm going to have to change the clipping. So I'm going to click on the camera up here and change clip end to a thousand millimeters and go back in here and zoom out again. And I'm just using my mouse wheel to kind of move the brain around if you wanted to turn it around, if you want to see the bottom and kind of figure out what position we want and then just uncheck the camera to view and we'll need some lights. Our light is in the middle, I guess, so let's pull it out, pull it forward with GY, and I'm going to make it an area light. Change the power to 1 watt, and I'm going to change the size to like 100 millimeters. If you click and drag in both boxes, X and Y, then you can change that to 100 millimeters. You can see that it's pointing down, so we need to Grab the light and do some rotations like rotate X. And I probably want to do a GZ to bring it upwards a little. <clears throat> and like an RZ to get it pointing. I'm actually going to do a GX to move it this way a little bit. And let's just hit F12 and see what that rendered. We probably need another light. <clears throat> okay, that's not too bad. We can um, change the background to, let me go back to the shader editor here, but I'm going to select world instead of object. And you could um, if you can see my little, this little bar up here, I have Blender Kit installed and you could search for HDRs. Um, but I'm just gonna, for now, I'm just gonna change the background color to black. And just see how that looks. And actually, I'm gonna add a second light. So let me go ahead and do a Shift D and grab that light. I will say, I'm not like, as far as uh, making cool little renders and stuff, I'm still, I'm still learning because I mostly just make things to 3D print or to, or to upload to Sketchfab. So once we get that second light situated, then we can hit F12 again or render image and see how it looks. So there you go. And you could, if you wanted to save this, the lights, my lights seem a, a little bit bright in this one. Um, you can go image, save as, and then just save it wherever you want to save it. <clears throat> and you could change, um, if we go back in the shader editor to our object, I got to click on it so it's visible here. You could even um, play with the alpha and um, make it, I'm going to put this in not material view. So, you know, if we want to bring this down to, I don't know, 0 0.2, hit F12 again. So now we're seeing those other colors because remember this is this isn't just a surface model we've got because it's a point cloud of the whole brain volume there's points on the inside too 
Um, and so you could, you know, just by changing that transparency, we can see the inside now. So that's kind of cool. So you could play around with that and see um, see what you get. You could use other um, cameras or you can move the camera around and maybe see the bottom down here. And uh, you could even just animate it, you know, have the camera go all the way around um, or whatever it is that you, um, you want to do. Have fun with that.